Well, uh, so much has happened to you since your last play on this field. Yeah. What's it like coming back this weekend? It feels good, man. I was just talking to uh, some of the players. Tell them it's nothing like college football. You know? It's just, it's just so much. You got four years, and then you leave, and then you can come back and see some of these guys play. It's like you watch them play when you're out there, but it's different when you're sitting on the sideline and seeing them run with, with passion. Because you know the ultimate goal after education, they're trying to make it to the league, and and once they see what they can do, you know it's, it's always exciting to just come and watch. How would you describe your transition to the? How would you describe your transition so far to the NFL? Um, I, I, would, I would say it's good, you know. You never have the answer. I got a lot to learn, and I got a lot of guys who I can learn from. And, you know, I'm trying to climb up the depth chart, and special teams is the way, you know. So I got to just keep on continuing to do what I do on special teams. Well, what's the, the one major thing that, that struck you about the difference in play in the league? I would say the, the mental preparation. Everyone, you know, you can you can physically do all you want to prepare for a game, but if you can just get know what your opponent's doing, it's way different. And everyone's film study and the way they take care of their body and stuff, that, that was my biggest my biggest learning stage on that level. How did you feel about the way you performed your camp and, and the showing you made there? First impression. Um, I, I think I did well, but you know, you never can do good enough. You know? um, like I said, I got a lot of a lot of learning to do, and I'm, I'm ready to work, ready to continue to progress. Did you have a, a welcome to the NFL moment? Um, no, not the, the, the Ravens aren't big on hazing and, and and doing stuff to guys like that. The only thing that um, I had to do was carry a couple of running back pads in. That was it. How about any of the preseason games? Anything happened that, that really stood out to you? That wow, I'm here. I'm playing professional football. Well, I know I was having a rough, a rough camp before our first preseason game on making some of the reads in the run game. And when I broke my first run, my first run was like 10, 15 yards, and then I did it the whole drive. And, and after that, when I came to the bench, I was – because I, I was down on myself a little bit at first, like, man, am I, am I this bad? And then after I broke, I, I, I looked back at a self-evaluation, like, yes, I definitely belong here. So, yeah, yeah, from your experience so far, you, you've seen that you, you belong in the league and you can play on that level. You have that confidence still on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know, that was the ultimate goal. I know. You can't never, ever doubt yourself. But, you know, sometimes when you're getting dominated or you're not doing so good at, at what you've been doing for all your life, you know, it gets frustrating. So once you once you open up a little bit and start to see good flashes, you understand, like, okay, you can do this. But you can't stop. You can't get comfortable, you know. It's all about progression. What's it like to get on the field for the first time in a 60,000-seat stadium, all those fans, and just be in that atmosphere for the first time as a player? Oh, it was, it was amazing. The Bengals game was amazing, but it was nothing like the Ravens Steelers game. You know, I'm usually not a rah rah guy before the game. I, I usually just get in my own little zone and go out and play. But it was just something about that game that had me a little more amped up than usual. It was an unusual week for the team, obviously. What was last week like for you? Your first year in organization, going through all all that stuff last week. It was rough, you know. It's a business. Thing, things happen, but you know, as a team, we gotta focus on the task at hand. Have they given you any indication? on how they want to work you into the offense and do you, do you get any any insight from the coaches no you, you know we all we all have roles you know and right now my role is, is to do what i can do when my name is called and, and continue to step up my special teams when you look back on your time here um how valuable were your two years at coastal and then how do you remember that that, that time on this campus Oh, it, was, it was good. It was a rough first year. I, I didn't play as much as I would like. You know, I just made sure that I worked really hard in the off season. Came back senior year, and we we had a phenomenal year. I mean, not I'm not not just me. You know, Alex Ross, our offensive line. There was so many playmakers out there. We had a, a great year, and it was just awesome being a part of a team that just wants to win. D'Angelo Henderson says he's coming for your record. What do you think of that? Yeah, I mean. D'Angelo, he, he's a he's a he's a good running back, you know. Uh, it, was, it was sometimes in camp you look at him like, man, 
because I wasn't the official starter, you know, so uh, it was some time where you're like, man, this guy's going to come here and take my spot. But D'Angelo's a good guy. He, he's young, and he got plenty of time. He's going he's gonna to do more than break my record. He's going to do a lot, a lot more. I mean, it's, I can't even describe what he's going to do, but I know he's going to do great things in this offense. And just lastly, getting back into the league, how have you been received in the locker room? Have you made any friends on the team yet? What's that whole process been like getting used to the players? And yeah, like I said, the, the Ravens are, are very, a very welcoming team. You know, all the guys are great. No one is extra. And everyone just do their job, and everyone is friendly. You know, I'm good friends with all of them, mainly in our group, you know, in the running back group, Justin Versett. He's a, he's a great guy, a good Christian man that I, that I learn from day in and day out.